What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to have uh, not necessarily a, a rant, maybe a little, maybe a, a small little rant uh, towards the end, but I want to talk about what is, is happening with LEGO Star Wars, kind of go over my frustration, your guys' frustration, because I've seen a lot of it online, right? We can talk about obviously not being at any of the summer events that have happened over the last week or so. You know, when's the next time we're going to see it? We have talked about it before, but obviously we just uh, exited a time where it was possible. I think it was definitely possible for a couple different uh, events. Obviously, if things went a little bit differently for certain things, right? Um, but we'll go from there, okay? As always, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you have the bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. Hit the like button would definitely help this this video out quite a bit and also if you guys want to follow me over on twitter podcast now 15 is my twitter handle we have a ton of fun over on twitter uh link for that is in the description below or obviously you can just look it up over on twitter all right uh well first is it is that disappointment i mean uh, I, I I think by nature, I am a more optimistic person. It may be hard to believe for some people that, that just see me as kind of like a hater or like a Debbie Downer. I don't really know how you can get that that opinion of me if you watch enough of the videos. You really only have to scroll just a little bit to kind of see my my response to things and how I act. I am very excited. And it's not even like I'm a hater of, of Lego games or a hater of Star Wars or anything like that. I mean, I, I don't like the sequel trilogy, but uh, I'm very excited for Lego Star Wars. I've been excited since day one. I really think it could be like the best Lego game ever made. I really do in terms of like ambition and what they're planning to do. And uh, and again, let me say this because this always happens with these videos. I'm not demanding, and it's funny because people can't even make it like a couple minutes in to hear this. I'm not demanding the game comes out tomorrow. I'm not saying delays are bad. I'm not saying I don't want, I mean, well, I think it's fair to say we don't want them to delay the game. You know what I mean? But I think we're accepting of it. If they want to delay it, if they need to delay it is the better way of saying it, right? Go ahead. I mean, I will be waiting for it when it comes out. I am not in the business of rushing them. Again, I don't, I, you know, of course I want to play the game tomorrow. But I'm not going to go storm their headquarters or, you know, storm their studios demanding that I get the game right away. Okay. Want to make that very, very clear. However, I mean, it, it is a pure disaster. I would say what's happened with this game. I've said it before and, and I, I, you know, I've said it in past videos and, and people I think have agreed with me overall. I just don't, you know, I haven't covered a lot of Lego games. Let's let's be frank, okay? I haven't covered very many. In fact, this is the first Lego game I really covered. And it may be the last game we ever cover because if they never finish this one, they can never make new ones. But no, I mean, I've but I've been around for a while and I've played Lego games for a very long time and I've seen them and all that kind of stuff. So it's like I don't ever remember this happening for another Lego game. The secrecy the and then the delay okay and so, so obviously some delays can be i would say chalked up to you know the stuff that happened around the world over the last year right that obviously has impacted this game much like every other game under the sun all right i understand that i get that but i mean besides that i do think there's just been some issues like flat out been issues that i just don't know like i, I truly don't know because i don't remember ever seeing it happen to other Lego games. And then also the, the secrecy part, right? We've talked about that before. Why are they so secretive with the game? Like, it was supposed to come... Remember, in that trailer they had, it was supposed to come out May of 2020. It was supposed to come out last May. Then it was last fall. Then it was this spring. Now it's... I don't even think it's this fall. I think it's probably early next year, okay? It's been delayed, like, two years from when it when they thought it could come out. So, again, like, can you, can you chalk it up to some things? Yes. Can you chalk it up to other things? Probably, right? The game probably, at some point, was not in a good state. Do I think the game's canceled? No. But even removing yourself from that, right? The secrecy there, we've gotten trailers, too. One of them is, like, a 20-second teaser. And we've gotten pictures. That's it. That's it. There's no gameplay. Nobody's ever done like a walkthrough. They've never let anybody touch the game. They've never been at a show to show off the game, right? None of that stuff. And it's like that. How we like like I don't remember that ever happening. And it doesn't even happen for other games. Like other games in this situation, we probably would have seen something. And it's just we haven't. So it's I'm just so confused. That is more of the ranting part, right? I just don't understand. Again, like I understand the delays, and I, like, I think I understand at least, right? I just don't understand the secrecy for the project and, and why we haven't seen more of it. Like, yeah, it, it could come out this fall, and, and you could argue, like, well, do, do we need to see it? Not necessarily. Like, if the game comes out three, four months away, and then they start doing the, the marketing, which involves showing gameplay and showing things like that, I guess that's fine. You know what I mean? I, I'm not going to be super mad about that, um, and I would understand it, I guess, but it's just... 
odd how they've handled it. And then again, you know, we had Summer Game Fest. Now, I have pitched the idea that I think Lego Star Wars fits perfectly in Summer Game Fest. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's right up Jeff Keighley's alley. Um, it makes a ton of sense to be there. Uh, not, again, not like demanding it, not even like, not even necessarily expecting it to be there. Uh, and it wasn't, obviously, Back for Blood. And then we had Warner Bros. at E3, and they only did Back for Blood. Now, that's disappointing on like a thousand different levels, and we were kind of warned on that, but not really. We were really only warned like a little bit before, you know, E3 kind of started, like a week or so before. Uh, which, again, that's just very poor communication from WB Games. It's, it's even worse communication from E3, okay? So, obviously, it wasn't there. We've talked about that LEGO Con, which is June 26th. Now, from what I'm seeing and what from other people have even, like, sent me or talked about with me, it doesn't seem like it's going to be there, which is just the stupidest thing ever. Now, could that be a situation where they're lying and then they actually appear and it's like, oh, what a big surprise? Could be. But, I mean, look, we've been told no so many times. I think maybe we should just believe it until, you know what I mean? Like, don't expect it. And then if it is there, then it's like, oh, okay. There was a small fragment in the back of my mind hoping for it and, like, ready for it. But it wasn't going to, like, blow up my brain if it wasn't there, right? I wasn't going to, like, cry in a corner. And But, like, now it's here, so now I can be really excited. I think if we have that mindset for the game we could maybe be okay we could maybe survive this you know what i mean but look if it's not there and that's only in like another week right if it's not at lego con it's uh june 26th it's the saturday next saturday i believe or this upcoming saturday depending on when this video goes live uh you know if it's not there i, I don't know gamescom becomes the next one where it's like normally i'd say no but again jeff Keeley is running it Gamescom is probably going to be a poor man's E3, and E3 was already garbage, so besides a couple conferences, okay, but so Gamescom is going to be like probably even worse, so what kind of quality, and I, and I hate saying that too, because like then I'm equating LEGO Star Wars for lower quality, but whenever I say that, I more or less just mean it's not the biggest game in the world, but it is like a big name, and it could be uh, framed as a big thing, so if Jeff Keighley did that as one of like the top three highlights for one of it, so like if Gamescom, you leave, and you say the the biggest three things that were at Gamescom, one of them was LEGO Star Wars. That would make sense to me. You know what I mean? It kind of fits the criteria. So Gamescom's a possibility. And then beyond that, it's up to them. You know, they're they're on their own, which is not a bad thing. And I, I've routinely said companies don't need shows to do things. That's kind of my whole pitch of why we don't need E3 is that companies can do things on their own and gain just as much interest. By doing that versus going to, in fact, probably even more than going to E3, okay? So I, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. It's just that's where we would then be, where it would just be a mystery. Like, okay, you could come out, so they could announce it, like re-announce it or re-reveal it September 15th or October 23rd or November 5th. Like, it could literally just be a random date. And then obviously you have Game Awards, which Jeff Keighley again, which fits the criteria. Any Jeff Keighley event, I think, would fit the criteria and I would have moderate hope for, okay? So we'll talk about it again, you know, leading into Gamescom as we get close. And Gamescom is in August, by the way, late. I think August 22nd or it's either 22nd or 26th. I don't know why there's such a gap in my in my memory bank there, but, you know, it's late August, basically, okay? So we'll talk about it again. I hope we see it at LegoCon. I hope they just kind of get it out of the way and just say, okay, finally, we're back and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I do understand. Let, let me, I, I should end the video by saying this. Like, I do understand where they're coming from right now, where it's like, Yo, they delayed the game indefinitely. That's what just happened. You know what I mean? They, they came out and they said that. So when you come back, you need to be ready to go. I believe that with that game, I believe it with Lego, uh, with, uh, with Hogwarts Legacy, I believe it with Gotham Knights. All, uh, funny enough, they're all WB games, which, which kind of sucks. But yo, when you do something like that, when you delay your game into eternity, okay, when you come back from that and you say, okay, we're back, you need to, in my opinion, you don't have to, I guess, but in my opinion, you have to fully be, like, you have to be ready to rock. You know what I mean? They can't come back and say, all right, let's do that gameplay, show no date, and then we see it again next E3, and it releases next fall, fall of 2022. That would be the worst strategy imaginable. You know what I mean? I think when you come back, you need to, it needs to be within that Five, six, actually, you need to kind of do what Dying Light 2 did. Dying Light 2 is that example where they delayed it. They delayed it indefinitely. It was gone for years. Obviously, there's you know developer interviews and leaks and stuff in the, in the behind the scenes, but nothing too big. And then 
you know, this year, they just kicked in the high gear. From January on, there were interviews, there were develop, uh, developer videos of answering questions, then they show a massive amount of gameplay, a new trailer, they bring it back out, and they give a date. And now we're off to the race. You know what I mean? Now we're off to the races, and the next five months, it's just bam, 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 bam. That's... I. I really do think that's it. Now, the game could suck. I'm not saying, like, the game's guaranteed to be amazing. But how you come back from delaying yourself indefinitely, Dying Light 2, in my opinion, is a recent example that you look to. Okay? So hopefully LEGO Star Wars can do it as well, and hopefully we see it soon. But let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? When do you think we see it? Are you as disappointed as I am? Are you as confused as I am? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. Leave a like. Again, very, very much helps these videos out. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter again, Podcast Now 15 is my Twitter handle. Link is in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all on the next video.